Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, your host with the most, the collective detective, because my methods are effective, and I'm making a correction in the direction of my erection. I am nicer than a splicer, but I'm still part of the dirty, dirty horde, and we're back here on New Vegas with... It's time. Howdy, partner! Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. <laughs> Boss is waiting oh, for you upstairs, so get a move on. Oh, really? Absolutely. I see you brought Take some friends. Figures. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. All right. Come back soon now. You guys stay back. I'll uh, I'll handle this personally. Okay. So, uh... But I thought there'd be a lot more action here. Oh! Ooh! I didn't know I could steal shit. Now, I'm just gonna go around and make myself, uh, <coughs> make myself a sandwich. Yeah, a sandwich, that's what I meant. Oh, don't mind if I do! <laughs> Woo! This, uh, seems to be like a... Nice little place here, Mr. House is built. Just feels a bit, uh, you know, lonely. I thought, if anything, Mr. House might have had some uh, friends. Some bit of a high roller somewhere. Or maybe they're hiding. They're, they're probably hiding, right? I'll take that. Well, 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 well. <clears throat> I am impressed I am able to keep all this crap. But I am not going to complain. I will be back for all these bottles. Because there's, there's bottles, there's bottle caps. <laughs> what about this? Fuck you. All right, let's go see Mr. House. Ooh, wait, there's another bar down here. Ooh, wait, there's a lot of uh, safe and shit. I, I, I must, I must investigate. <coughs> there must be a way I can uh, reach this area, right? I mean, shit. Inaccessible. Now, what would you do that, Mr. House? What would you make this area inaccessible to me? I mean, look at that place. There's safes in there and other stuff that I need to get my hands on. <coughs> There's a door there. Oh, well, 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 do ding do. Well, 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 do ding do. Well, 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 do ding do. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, God, Mr. House, you are so brave and generous. house you are so brave I am um, I might just side with you just for the hell of it of course all the gun cabinets would be empty 
Why would that be? I have no clue. Well, honestly, I... Th Oops. Don't want to leave those around. Oh, that's nice. All right. I think I took enough of uh, Mr. House's, um, you know, stuff. God damn it, the tape in my hands is just slipping. All right, there we go. All right. All right, there we go. I wonder if Mr. House would mind if I play a little bit of, uh, hi, guys. More stuff over here. Nothing. Nothing. Not a safe. Oh, boy. I'll be back with all that shit. I'll be back for all of this shit. Oh, my God. The fucking... Mm. I gotta... I gotta cut this fucking uh, bandage off. I can't move my thumb with it on it let's go to talk to mr house maybe he's got a even more profitable proposition for me oh my god and my fucking hand is still slipping where to partner i want to talk to um you know, Mr. House. Bit house floor. Oh. Well, this looks nice. I mean, for a post apocalyptic, you know, destroyed place. Doesn't look half as bad. More money? Boy, I hope Mr. House doesn't mind me taking all of his, like, you know, god damn it, the fucking bandage just keeps slipping off. I'm gonna. I need a scissors. I need scissors. Tigger, bring me a pair of scissors. Oh, what am I talking to? You're a cat. Where are my fucking scissors? Did you use the scissors again, Tigger, and did not put them in their place? You little shit cat. Okay, I'm, um... I'm gonna go ahead and go down and cut this shit off. I'll be right back.
All right, here I am again. Sorry I took so long. Uh, Tigger really hid that scissor somewhere. I couldn't find it. Uh, okay, let's see if I can finally... Yep, now I can use my thumb again. All right. Oh, where was I? Yes, this way. Hi, Elenia. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Oh, um, I'm Jane, who are you? one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Really? Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Oh, in fact, I don't do robots. To tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Um, they're just sure. new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. The marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Tell me about the casinos. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, Get away the from me, you stupid cat. and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Wait, why are we not open to the public? Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here. But why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and yeah, the Vault surely. Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose really? if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. All right, Michael. Oh, I see. Michelangelo. Anything you like? <laughs> That's adorable. Why, All right. Sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? That's true. I mean, shit. You, we all saw the TV show. I mean, I knew about him before the TV show, but I guess people who never played the games now know who he is. Well, of course I or am, do silly. They? Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neuro-computational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Really? That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, so you're like, uh, you know, Mr. House's uh, robotic, you know, ching girl. Mr. House has a lot of needs, Trigger. I take care of all really? of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Uh, then okay. maybe you shouldn't... All right, let's, um... This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. Why, I'm a Robco PDQ 88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. Really? Not many people know this, but if you... In fact... Really? You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take... Oh, wait. He pays for that shit? Okay. <coughs> All right. Got the other way. Or this way? Right. There's our gracious host. Hello, Mr. House. You seem to be a little different from the TV show, but that doesn't matter to me. I'm just glad you're in the show. The point of my inviting you to visit me here at the Lucky 38 yeah, before stomping into the tops on your own was to help you prepare tactically. Now, because of your carelessness, Benny has fled the strip, taking with him the platinum chip. Well, that rhymes. Benny has fled the strip. And taken with him the platinum chip. We should make a song. His destination is hardly a mystery. 
It's a near certainty that he's making his way for Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. It's one of just two places on Earth that have the hardware necessary to read the Platinum Chip. The Lucky 38 is the other, of course. All right. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. The next oh, step that will I know. require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Um. Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head. Assuming you could find one. Okay. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. All right. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and open sesame. Huh. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. Okay. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future. For you, and for what remains of the human race. I expect that if Benny doesn't have the chip, Caesar will make sure you get it. More on that later. Be off. Okay. Make your way to Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Something very interesting. All right. So we just keep doing what people tell us to do. All right. Guess that helps or that works or whatever. Yeah, let's just keep doing Goodbye. what people tell us. Goodbye. Um, you. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. All right, let's uh, let's go to the presidential suite. I suite. And what the fuck? Oh, the suite's inside. Upgrade. Oh, wait a minute. I can put stuff. Wait a minute. Shouldn't I have this already? Like, you know. Oh, Mr. House, you're such a prick. Oh, there's barely anything in here. <coughs> so where are my friends at? I thought my friends could come up here and perhaps, I don't know. This is the bathroom. The bathroom room, okay. Why did that just happen? That makes no sense. Bethesda, fix your shit. My friends have left me. No, they couldn't. If they leave me, I will make sure that they will pay with their lives. Besides, they don't have anything anything else to do or anywhere else to go. Okay, so these would be the bedrooms. But where the fuck are they? I thought they could they would be here waiting. This is the... Why is shit on the floor? A robot. You need to fix my room. What's this? Those... Those are chips, but I can't take them. Okay. What about this place? 
It's a kitchen for the for the, all the people that we know. Why are you hiding? There's no reason to hide. You can run, but you can't hide. No one ever hides. So, okay, where robot, you, where are my friends? Let's get the hell out of here. Cocktail launch. What's the cocktail launch? Well, my friends can't come up here either. Watch you. I can't watch you, remember? <laughs> you can watch me, but I can't watch you. Yes. Alright. So, where the fuck are they? Okay, let's go to the um, casino. I guess the casino is the bottom floor. No friends here. All right, we just leave. I would have found you. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble the in fuck? the tops? Um. Oh. Well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the Apocalypse, that you had been in there, the Lucky 38, I mean, and we were wondering if you could help us, if it's not too much trouble, of course. Oh my god. This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. Okay, so you cheated your oh, way great. Right there. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Perhaps that's the way it should be. Mr. House doesn't want anybody bothering his ass. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Do you mind if I... Well, I guess that makes some sense. After all, let me know if you change your mind. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let me let me just be myself for a little bit. Come on, guys. Guys. Okay. Check that out. So, just where the fuck am I? Damn. And he yeah, looks good to me. Yeah, I guess must make me the lucky one, right? All right, let's see what uh what quests do we have here? Wait, I'm supposed to go on to, to the NCR camp or whatever. Are my followers with me? Why are not my followers with me? Chocha. I thought they could come with me. That's not part of the deal. Where's the NCR camp? Or embassy or whatever the fuck. That's Vault 21. What a shithole. Oh, here we go. I have business in here. Don't piss me off. You should see this place at night. Really? Who's in here? Embassy. Please tell me this is the armory and shit. Build it All right, let's talk to the uh, general or whatever the fuck. Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? Ambassador Crocker can the be ambassador. found in his office. Sir. All right, thank you. Is there anything here I can steal? 
without getting caught. All right. What the fuck? Uh, was it your right or my right? Fuck. <laughs> um. Lady. It has to be her right. <coughs> right? Here? It's gotta be here. Aha. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. Really? I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is gonna happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. Okay. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Yeah. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. All right. All right, let's go talk to these boomers. Convince the boom, the boomers. Let's see if we can convince the boomers. I don't think we can. Oh my god, this guy is so slow. I forgot how slow he, people moved here in Fallout New Vegas. Oh my god. Okay, you two jackasses need to come with me. I've got your back. Come on, jackass. All right, we need to go to the to the um to these guys and get some better weapons. Where are the gun runners? Aha. Hopefully get better weapons. What are you carrying anyway? Okay, you're carrying a lot of shit. You're carrying all my health crap. And you, Fine what are me. you carrying? Some stuff, okay. How many bottle caps? I have... <coughs> very few. Okay, we need to get rid of all the... Cigarette thing. All right. What else? 
house. Okay, we're gonna need the anti-material gun and I still can't get it! Okay, so, okay, let's get rid of the shotgun. We need that service rifle, although not as much. Let's see, the power fist, I don't need it. Golden gloves, not yet. Take the 10 millimeter. I'll keep the that gun. Sniper rifle. Where's the other? Okay. Now, in a different transaction, I want that. And I'm gonna need, obviously, some 50 caliber. All right, there. All right, I hope this works. Otherwise, it's gonna be a really annoying trip. See us again soon. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. All right, Boone, you will be, um, do what you do. Why is your weapon of choice that crap? Fine I want by you me. to use, not that, I want you to use, oh, I didn't give you a good weapon. All right, fine. You can use the trail carbine. And you're going to need 44 mag. And I want you to I want you to use that. Good man. Okay. So now we're going to go to where? Holy shit. Okay, so I guess we go there. Oh, fuck! No, this is not what I wanted! Damn, Boone. Damn, Boone. You know, that's what I call a ruthless. Okay, so where are we going? Uh oh. So we need to go to Hidden Valley, and that's a pain in the ass because I can't go around, so I have to go. Here. That's gonna be our ticket in there. What the fuck? Oh shit! 
Why? We just spawned here and Boone just absolutely uh Okay. Boone, you're a madman, you. All right. How to get to Hidden Valley? It's All right. It's that away. And now we just travel for half an hour, hoping to find something in, in the way. this place skydiving who the hell goes skydiving nowadays what's this key Not a bad bit of loot there. All right, let's go, Boone. Hidden Valley is... What the fuck? What the hell are you doing here? Ah! My leg! Boone, do something! Fuck are they? Those cocksuckers did something to me. No? That would have been great. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's just blow flies. Okay, cool. As long as it's not Casadors, we're fine. Don't miss! Wow. One of you fuckers, kill it! Something else bugging around around here. We don't have time for it. We gotta go to Hidden Valley and get ourselves some salad dress. Oh shit. I guess that's the Powder Ganger's um, hideout. What's this? A large wild dog. Good shot, Jackson.
Fuck off, dog. What's up, dog? Wait, I haven't saved in a while. Let's not make the same mistake everybody else does. Whew, let's go. Let's go get Hidden Valley Ranch somewhere. What's this? What's this place? Be a great time to... Using this rifle. Wow. <clears throat> no, you punk. <clears throat> no. I lost karma because I stole from the people I'm trying to kill. No! Wow, I lost karma because I stole from the people that... Wow, okay. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Let's see what these boneheads were had on them the fuck are they I saw Boone killed both of them maybe they were taken by the ether or something oh here they are hey guys Let's keep moving. Still a long ways away. Uh. I see him. No, wait a minute. You're not supposed to blow up if I'm trying to... I'm not trying to switch to that. I'm trying to switch weapons, not switch ammo. There we go. Really? Wow. Whatever. Watch out for the mines, guys. Closer to these boneheads. Okay, before we do this, I want to see if there's a there's a way to get a truce between the NCR and the Brotherhood.
Okay, let's um Oh, wonderful. Just what I needed. There's no way I will hit that thing. Bone, what do you got? How do you guys hit shit? So, okay, still in the dark. So, how do I even know? Boy, this shows a weird place to make, uh, you know, dressings for salads and shit. Damn it, here we go again. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. And over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. I've told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Will you comply? Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. How the hell did you get in here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? Okay. I'll take you to him. 
Follow me, closely, or you'll be shot. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. Accident or no, we both now find ourselves in an uncomfortable... My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider, who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Yes, we could kill him easily enough. But sometimes you can learn a great deal by observing people, both enemies and friends. Which is why it will be very interesting to observe how you choose to deal with the situation and decide which you are, enemy or friend. Do we understand one another? Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. You'll find your I just love to right. having... Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. Fuck. Wait, now I gotta put all that shit back on? Are you fucking kidding me? That's not cool. Wait, what happened to my weapons? Wait a minute, what happened to all my shit? Are you fucking kidding me? Where's the rest of my shit? Fine Ooh, by me. Do you have your... How come you get to keep everything? I paid a lot for all those weapons. I don't get it. Where the hell are they? Okay, so what the hell? Oh, there we go. <laughs> for a moment there, I thought I was going to have to start hell in this place. Wait, I'm not dressed as anything. All right, where's the ranger? Find out where this ranger's at. We're not killing anybody.
just telling them to uh, fuck off. Right here. Come on, Boone. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder. Huh. Yeah. Got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? Dobson's my name. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran, north of here. Reading man by birth, though. Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. <sighs> Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, and that's how we like it. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other rangers, but I can handle myself. I'm sure as hell not gonna lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio. But it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. Oh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? Well... You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess, um, I guess I did. And it's a good thing I did, because... They would have, um... Damn, he got... Hey, what are you doing to my radio? Um... Okay, but if I find you... Uh, I swear I wasn't doing anything with to your radio. It was not to your radio I was doing anything to. That I promise. All right, let's uh Can we get, we can't go through there, I suppose. I wasn't touching your radio, I swear. I don't think I need to. God, I hope they don't make me strip again.
I completed the mission. Stand back from the door. The elders eager to hear your report. All right. Do we go in or um Oh, you guys have some nice barricades. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? God, why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Yes, thank you. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Okay. That's a mighty nice weapon you have there. I know Boone isn't happy that I'm uh, playing around with these guys, but you know. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna rob us some shit here. Um, I am. Um, I understand that, ma'am. You don't have to worry about me. I'm. Uh, I'm okay with being watched. But they got turrets, you know. In the whole place, great. Where's the, uh... Want me to come see him, I'm... Apprentice, huh? This is it? No, this must be the, uh... Where the hell is it? No, that's not him. I lost my way. Or I got lost. Or whatever. I can't access that. He was walking this way, I think. Well, those beds look really comfortable. Maybe he's got, um, um, no. No. Oh shit, you scared me, Bone. No. Here. 
gotta be here. Alright, Supreme Elder, I'm here. But I'm gonna leave it here because I gotta I gotta eat, change my bandages, and uh, play with my cats. So I wanna thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. This is Rickahoff X1 signing off.